Hey there, folks. Happy Monday. Welcome to Advisory. I hope you guys are all doing well and that you had a good weekend. Happy Homecoming Week. That's right, it's Homecoming Week, and we've got our themes. Today is Rhyme Without Reason. Tomorrow is Generations Day, so seniors dress up as senior citizens, juniors as moms and dads, sophomores as toddlers and freshmen as babies. Wednesday, we have PJ Day, Pajama Day. Thursday, we have Country versus Country Club. And then Friday is game day, where you wear your Longhorn gear and your mums, and it's going to be a great time. Also, with regards to homecoming, today is the day to nominate your friends, if you would like, for homecoming court. That's homecoming king and queen for each of the grades. To nominate someone to put their name in the hat to get voted on later this week, Simply go to Longhorn Country, click this link, and fill out the form. Make sure you use the first and the last name of the person that you are trying to nominate. And then later this week, we will vote on who will win homecoming court. Also happening this week is the PSAT tomorrow, all right? That is going to be mostly sophomores with some 9th and 11th graders. It's going to be tomorrow on Tuesday, and the time is not starting right away in the morning. It actually starts at 11.30 and goes to 2.55, around 6th and 7th periods. Where you're going to be testing is all dependent on who you are, and so you can figure out where you're testing or whether or not you're testing by scanning the QR code over there or going to bit.ly slash longhorn lookup. That's going to be your one-stop shop every time we have testing that is going to tell you where you need to be during that time. And the schedule is going to be a little bit different for folks that are testing as well. At the very beginning of the day, it's going to be just like any normal day from 9, 10 to 10, 40 will be in our first period of the day, a fifth period. If you go to Career Institute, you need to check up on Longhorn Lookup because you may not be going to Career Institute this day, you may be instead taking the PSAT. So make sure you use that QR code over there and go to the Longhorn Lookup to figure out where you're supposed to be. Those of us that are testing are going to start their lunch at 1045, eat a little bit earlier than everybody else, and then they're going to get into their testing period starting at 1130. Everybody else has the same schedule. You may be displaced, and so you might want to look up the Longhorn Lookup as well to see where you might be displaced to. And at the end of the testing period, which will be around 3 o'clock, depending on what time you're able to get started, testers will be released back into their eighth period. And if you have Afternoon Career Institute, then you need to check the Longhorn Lookup for where to go. So that's tomorrow. Make sure you know where to be and when to be there. Okay, for our advisory today, we're going to be talking about procrastination. I myself am a professional procrastinator. And especially around this time of year, it gets really easy for me to let the tasks that I have to do pile up. And so I thought that this would be a good reminder for all of us, especially at the beginning of a new quarter. If you're somebody who tends to procrastinate things and that made your grades worse during the first quarter, then you may want to pay careful attention and think about some of the things that the next two videos are going to talk about. And then you will have a short discussion. And at the end, I want you to make yourself a to-do list of things just for this week. Just focus on this week and make a list of all of the academic or non-academic things that you need to get done and cross them off as you get them done. But that's all from me. Enjoy the next two videos. Happy homecoming week. Be good to yourselves and others, and I will see you tomorrow.